Hello, welcome back. This is James Aria from Workshop. Today we're gonna look at something different from the usual prototyping and wireframing that we've been talking about on this channel. What we're gonna look at today is um, databases. How we're gonna create a database for some of the application that we've shown on our channel so far. So last time we talked about the roster management information system. And what we're going to look at today is how can we create a database for this application. Uh, I've decided that this tutorial is going to be split into several sessions because I'm going to be reviewing some information while I go along and I don't want to take much time recording one, um, just one series for longer minutes. So I want to keep it very short and simple. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to create a database in uh, MySQL. We're going to use um, uh, PHP my admin uh, we can also use a uh, MySQL as well but uh, we can use a uh, PHP my admin and during this tutorial I'll be using both of them together I can either use PHP my admin today and I can either use um, um, MySQL workbench in the next tutorial so but it's still gonna be the same information it's still the same standard it's just different interface and, and that's it. So what we need to do next is we need to log into our database so that we can create this database that is going to hold all this table we have here. We have some tables that have been um, defined here. We have some attributes as well. It's not conclusive. So we just go into it. We have the rotor, the employee, the department. We have the shift type. We have the clock. We have the allocation, the contract, and there are more and more tables that need to go into this um, database. But for now, we're just going to create a database that is going to hold all this table. So let's get started. So we've entered our username, which is the root. We log in as root password, and then I've entered the password, and we click OK. Now, what we need to do is to go into the page here which says um oh just a minute which says databases now we have this here we say create database and we're just going to have that information create database um we're going to have the rotor let's call it rotor and we're going to create now we've created the rotor and it's the system is telling us that we need to create a table within this rotor otherwise because no table found in this database but the purpose of this tutorial is just to create the database first before we move on so we can go back to home and go back to databases and we can see here what we have is we have this information the rotor information and we can say check the privileges now we can edit each of these privileges to know whatever they're going to be are they going to be able to select or insert or update or delete or redefine so the administration privileges what are they going to be able to do can they create user can they do all these things or you know so we're going to be looking at this at a later stage but today what we are doing is creating the database which is we've created the rotor database here and the next tutorial we will be putting tables into our database i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching and see you next time bye